Welcome to the AMS training series for Street Saver Online. GIS Reporting Overview On the main navigation panel, click on the GIS Toolbox module. The heading GIS Toolbox will appear in the lower portion of the panel and you will see the available GIS tools. Click on GIS Reporting. A window will open entitled GIS Reporting. You will see the GIS map for your jurisdiction in the main viewer. After successfully completing the linking process between the shapefile and the section data, your jurisdiction will have the ability to generate and view tabular reports spatially. Along the top of the GIS reporting window, you will see a toolbar that allows you to perform various functions. If you let the cursor hover over a tool, a description of the tool will appear. Please refer to the GIS section link overview tutorial for a detailed description of these tools. Along the left side of the window, you will see the shapefile layers. The shapefile layers are the layers from the GIS map you requested to upload or they are the defaulted layers provided by the U.S. Census Bureau. To the right of the shapefile layer window, you will see the GIS map viewer. Here, all the layers are superimposed and viewable. To hide a layer, simply uncheck the box next to the layer name. Check the box to make the layer visible. The sub-bar, located near the bottom of the window, allows users to generate reports, establish filters, and create maps. Click on the drop-down box next to Features, and you will see nine reporting formats to choose from. Next, we have eight tools to the right of the drop-down box. The first tool is the Select All tool. If you click the button, Wait a few moments for the map to generate the sections. And all the sections in your pavement management database will be selected. Also, notice that three of the other tools are no longer grayed out. These tools become usable when street sections are selected on the map. The second tool is Select Sections from Map Area Filter. This function allows you to manually select your pavement management sections. Simply click and hold the cursor down, then drag a box around the area you would like to select. Release the mouse and the sections are now highlighted. Click the Clear Area Filter tool to clear the selection. Next, we have the filter, which allows you to filter sections by street name, PCI, year of construction, etc. The next tool clears any filters that have been set. The following tools are the tools that become available once street sections have been selected on the GIS map. First, we have the Export Shapefiles tool. This function allows you to export any report you have generated into your own GIS application for modifications. Next, the Print Map function allows the user to print the current GIS view. Lastly, there's the Create Project tool which allows the user to view data for the selected sections and manage the corresponding treatments and unit costs for those sections. This concludes the GIS reporting overview.